around the world in 80 days? Well let's make it 72, shall we? Meet Nellie Bly, the mother of investigative journalism. Following the footsteps of Jules Verne, she made her way through heat, thunder, and rain around the globe. With a time of 72 days, 6 hours and 11 minutes she broke the world record and became famous. She was known for her hands-on approach, determination and scandalous reports. After reading Verne's novel, she made it her mission to convince New York World Editor to send her off. Driven by her editor's assumption that no women could ever succeed in this trip, she finally convinced him and on November 14, 1889, her journey began. Only much later she would find out that she was competing against a reporter from a rival publication. By boat and train she arrived in Paris via London, stopping only to meet Verne for tea. Her voyage continued through Europe onto Egypt, unaware of her competitor who had left New York in the opposite direction. Reports were communicated to her editor via telegraph and ship and bets were put upon her arrival time. In Hong Kong for Christmas, she continued to Japan via a steamship, taking her across the Pacific all the way to San Francisco. Greeted by celebrations, a single car train sped her across the country and in 72 days, 6 hours and 11 minutes she had gone around the world. The biggest journalistic event of the 19th century celebrated Nellie Bly and her accomplishment. Finishing with the words, I said I could, and I would. And I did. She promptly began a four-city lecture tour while her competitor fled the attention and didn't speak of her travel after her arrival. Bly's courage and determination helped her to succeed in her aim to beat the fictional Phileas Fogg's 80-day odyssey and circumnavigate the globe in only 72 days, a true journalism pioneer who inspired women and men likewise. <laughs>